Arkansas high school teacher is accused of having sex with four of her students and allegedly had two of them at her apartment on the same date at the R teacher, Jessie Laurie Ingeline, 25, of Jonesboro, was arrested Wednesday after a months-long investigation began into her sexual relations with four students between January and April of 2016. Mark Tree High School officials discovered a concerned parent was threatening to do bodily harm to one of their teachers and had accused Beline of having sex with several students, prompting the investigation according to Arkansas Online. Students who were sexually involved with Beline came forward to authorities. One told investigators she came on to him during class, telling him how good he looked in class, and said she sent him a photo of her in a thong. One of her students said Beline picked him up and took him to her apartment in the afternoon. They had sex, and she dropped him back at Mark Tree High School later that day. He told investigators another classmate was at her apartment later that night. All four of the students had started texting with the R teacher, and said the exchanges became more sexually charged over time. Three of the students were from the Mark Tree School District and another was from the East Poinsett County School District. She is facing only one count of sexual assault because out of the four students she is accused of sleeping with, just one of them was under 18. Goline claimed that the underage teen lied about his age. She told school officials she found out after they had sex that he was way younger than what he had told her. According to court documents. When Mark Tree Principal Matt Wright asked her if she had inappropriate contact with students, she responded, I'm not going to lose my husband, but added, We had sex. According to Kate TV Wright said the school officials were in the middle of calling a hotline to report the art teacher when she came into his office crying. Dottie asked her what was wrong, and it was then he says, that she confessed. Glyne was booked into the Craighead County Detention Center Wednesday afternoon on a $5,000 bond. She is due back in court on October 31st. If convicted she could face 10 to 40 years.